Thurukarumudi Vengaram Sundram Iyengar was an Indian industrialist and automobile pioneer. In 1911, he founded TV Sundram Iyengar and Sons, a bus company which later diversified into automobile production and emerged as the parent company of the TV's group, one of India's biggest business conglomerates. With his humble beginning as a lawyer, he grew into one of the most successful industrialists of his time. The flagship company of the group is TV's Motors established by his son T.S. Doraswamy. He laid foundation for road transport industry in the erstwhile Madras presidency through the state's first bus service. The TV's group he thus started now extends from motor industry, auto services to financial services. TV Sundramai Ingar was born in 1877 in Thirukarumudi, in the state of Tamil Nadu in India. TV Sundramai Ingar started his career as a lawyer. As per his father's wishes, he then moved to work for the Indian Railways and later in a bank. Sundramai Ingar later quit his jobs and laid the foundation for the motor transport industry in South India when he first started a bus service in the city of Madurai in the year 1911. He established the TV Sundramai Engar and Sons Limited in 1911, which by his death in 1955, operated a number of buses and lorries under the title of Southern Roadways Limited. This paved the way for the genesis of the TV's group. During the times of the Second World War, Madras presidency was met with petrol scarcity. To meet the demands, Sundramai Engar designed and produced the TV's gas plant. He also started a factory for rubber retreading, besides two more concerns, the Madras Auto Service Limited and the Sundaram Motors, a division of TV Sundramai Ingar and Sons Limited. The former was the largest distributor for General Motors in the 1950s. What started as a single man's passion soon became the business of a family. Sundramai Ingar had five sons and three daughters, and in his patriarchal Tamil Brahmin family all male members got into the business. With his son, T.S. Dorezami's early death, four other sons, T.S. Rajam, T.S. Santanam, T.S. Srinivasan and T.S. Krishna, became an integral part of the business. And ever since there have been four largely distinct branches that, however, have worked under the TV's umbrella. The group established by Sri. Sundram Iyengar, according to the company, is currently the largest automobile distribution company in India, and enjoys a turnover of about 8 US dollars. 5 billion and has an employee strength of over 60,000. The group operates in diverse fields like automotive component manufacturing, automotive dealerships, finance and electronics, as well as into IT solutions and services. Born Thirukkaru Moody Vengaram Sundram Iyengar March 22, 1877 Thirukkaru Moody, Tamil Nadu, British India died April 28, 1955 Kodakanal, Madurai District, Madras State. India TV Sundram Iyengar married Lakshmi Amal and they had eight children, five sons and three daughters. Their son T.S. Doraswamy, died at an early age. T.V. Sundram Iyengar accepted his daughter T.S. Soundram, then a teenage widow who remarried G. Ramachandran, under the compulsion of Mahatma Gandhi. T.S. Soundaram then involved herself in the Indian independence movement along with Gandhi. She was later honored with a postal stamp released in her honor. Apart from being a successful businessman, T.V. Sundram Iyengar was a patron of the arts. He was praised by Rajaji, a senior statesman and governor-general of India at that time, for his gesture of retiring and handing over the trade to his sons. He died in the early hours of April 28, 1955 at his residence in Kodai Connell at the age of 78 and at that time was survived by his wife, four sons and three daughters. Sundram Iyengar was honored by the Union Government of India by unveiling bust in bronze and in marble in the city of Madurai, Tamil Nadu on August 7, 1956. Thanks for watching.